All right, guys, before I get this video started, I wanted to give a huge shout out to Bad News Racing, uh, B&R Racing, if you will. Um, they're located out of Florida. Um, they do remote tunes uh, through EFI Live and through uh, HP Tuner. I think they're mainly focused on General Motors vehicles, but they can take care of other things as well at points. Uh, I would definitely reach out to them if you ever need anything. They're extremely good at what they do. There's been a huge history with them and this car way before I started this build. And uh, yeah, if you ever need anything, get a hold of them. Uh, if you want more power out of your vehicle, get a hold of them. They've got a website that uh, you can look up performance parts for your car, um, cosmetic parts for your car. Um, so go check them out. They're not paying me anything extra for this. I just wanted to give them a huge shout out. Um, he's the one that helped me get the VAT system turned off on this car so I could actually get it started. Thanks. All right, guys, I'm back. Um, as you can tell, I'm starting to get a little bit of the car back together. Uh, I've got the radiator, the condenser, all that stuff hooked up. Of course, the air conditioning I'm still going to have to work on to make it work. Um, but all my coolant lines are hooked up. Got all the air bled out of the system. Um, I did have to scoot the radiator out. It's made some spacers and worked with what I had, uh, but pulled the radiator out a slight bit. And on the bottom, I ended up drilling a couple of small holes into the base of the radiator foot and ran some zip ties. I've still got to chop off the ends of the zip ties and wedged a piece of radiator hose onto the end of that platform and it worked out really good. Um, the reason why I had to scoot that out is because the exhaust was touching the fan and so I've got a little bit of a gap on it now and I made my own little heat shield uh, on the cat uh, catalytic converter and also put some heat tape on the front of the um, fan in hopes that uh, it'll keep itself from cooking itself but if it does I'll end up running a different style cooling fan maybe push your fan on the front something of that nature um, I've got all the coolant lines connected the systems bled out um, I ended up using two of the same style heater hoses off the Chevy Cruze that's a Chevy Cruze heater hose that's a Chevy Cruze heater hose over here and then I'm Bought this little U-turn piece that uh, hooked in, so that worked out pretty good. A uh, bit of splicing here and there, but it works. Um, the radiator hose that I used for the driver's side was a 22918 Gates. Uh, fit very good. Um, on the passenger side, I kind of hybrid thing, uh, did a hybrid thing together with the Impala upper radiator hose, and then it splices into the Chevy Cruze lower uh, section there uh, where it'll still clip into the radiator like it's supposed to it bends and goes around the alternator and then hooks in so worked out pretty well I'm um, still waiting for my uh, air box to come in but it still does run um, I didn't get a chance to show you guys what I did with the transmission mount so I left the battery out for right now uh, that way I can kind of show you what I did um, so there's the mount as you can tell it's a little bit crooked and it's sticking out a little bit but I did get two bolts in. Uh, of course, the third one's not in there, or I guess over here, uh, but it works. The transmission linkage, um, I didn't quite have connected. I had it bolted in, it clipped in, but it didn't clip in over here uh, with it all the way into park. So I didn't realize it wasn't in park whenever I had all that stuff connected the first time, but I got it working. Um, this arm is actually off of the Chevy Cruze transmission uh, because the Impala one uh, fits out this way whenever it's splined onto this. Uh, the cruise actually kicks back a little bit, so it gave me a little more room, and it's a slightly shorter arm, so it'll allow a little more swing back and forth. Um, the mount, as you can tell, um, I tried to elongate the holes in another uh, scenario. It didn't work, and so I drilled the hole a little bit further back, so it's kind of crooked, but uh, it actually works just fine, so that's good. Um, let's see, what else? Um, just odds and ends for wiring. Um, the fuel pressure sensor was supposed to share a common uh, low reference voltage and it, uh, it connected on the cruise. It connects on the engine harness side. On the Impala, it connects on the body side. So I had to connect those two to get that light to go out. Only thing I'm really waiting on is that air box. Once I have that air box, um, I'll have no check engine light whatsoever. I did turn off the E85 sensor for right now. Um, so technically I would have still had that one, but once I get that in, we're good. Um, it does run. I did leave the battery out to show you guys that, but if I can try this one-handed, I'll see if I can get this battery wedged into here. 
and uh, just set it down so y'all can hear this thing run. This battery is ancient. Um, it's about a little over five years old. Uh, you get about three to four years average on a battery out in Texas with constant up and down heat and cold and everything else. So this one's doing pretty darn good. But let's see if we can get it on there. I'm just going to push the terminals on for right now. That should be sufficient. And there's my negative. There's my negative. We'll hook that up and I will show you how amazing this sounds whenever it runs. And, uh, there's the engine computer. So I'll have all that stuff connected eventually, but uh, kind of like I did before. But either way, here we go. All right, y'all ready? Here we go. Turn the airplane off there. You know, typical Chevy, whenever you have a check engine light, it throws the uh, fan on full freaking blast. So, <laughs> um, either way, yeah, dude, it runs. And uh, like I said, I'm going to try to see if I can get it out on the road tonight. I don't know if I have enough transmission fluid. I may have to go pick some up. But uh, yeah, it's really hot out here in Texas right now. Um, I closed up the garage so I could chat with y'all and not have a horrible lighting behind it. But yeah. Thanks guys for keeping up with everything and uh, this has been an absolute blast. I'll keep you all updated once I drive it too and, and uh, let you know how things go. Thanks.